What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing this video that I posted on Instagram. It went very viral. A lot of people had a lot of different reactions to it. So I want to give my reaction to it. Things I could have done better, maybe some tips, um, some ways that you evangelists out there might want to learn how to approach certain type of people, how to keep the love, how to keep the fruit. I just want to give my honest feedback, my reaction to it, since a lot of people were asking for it in the comments on, on Instagram. And unfortunately, I don't have the full video. I would love to react to that. I deleted that a long time ago, but I still have this um, a little bit longer clip that I posted on TikTok a while back. Let's go ahead and let's react to this. What is that? Is that blood? I actually used to be a very devout Christian. So I'm curious what you think happens after death. Personally, I believe we enter a dreamlike state. What is that? Is that blood? It's not real blood. I promise. Okay. Have you ever heard the good news of the gospel? Yeah, that threw me off so bad when I saw blood on his neck. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is this? This was just, it was just trippy. I actually used to be a very devout Christian. We've all fell short and the wages of sin is death. So we earned death according to the Bible, but blood equals life. And that's why in the Old Testament of the Bible, you remember probably that they sacrificed all the animals, right? For sin. So they got so tired of doing all these works, sacrificing all these animals all the time because we never stopped sinning that they prophesied that the worthy lamb is going to come. The Messiah is going to come and save the world of the sin. So that's where Jesus steps in, the worthy lamb. He lived a life that we should have lived, but we couldn't, and he never sinned one time. And so that made his blood perfect enough to be eligible for us to have atonement. He got beaten so bad and became unrecognizable because sin makes us unrecognizable to God. So he had to take that on, even though he didn't deserve it. Because if someone pays your fine for a crime you did, you can be bailed out and be, be let go, right? So that's the only way we can be let out. If someone who didn't do the crime pays our fine for us. So he paid the fine, he got beaten, he got whipped, and he became a curse for our blessing. It was a true form of grace. So so once we just put our faith in what he did for us, then we can have the eternal gift of life. We can have peace on earth. We can have the fruits of the spirit. So I don't want to convince you of this though. No, 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 no. But I, yeah. I, I really appreciate what you're saying. Cause I honestly just always, my, it is refreshing to find someone who spread. Guys, and I love how receptive he was. I love how he listened and he really received that because like he said, he was a devout Christian, but there's so many different Christians nowadays. Like everyone has their different, opinion of what a christian means which i think is terrible because unity is so important in the body of christ but i honestly don't believe this guy was shown the love of christ i think he was shown legalism i think he was shown religion and he wasn't shown a relationship with jesus so i'm so glad i could show him love and um just educate him on truth on who jesus is on what he did for him and he received that really well which is the main reason i have this page is to show um, evangelists, people who, who are Christian, who want to go spread the gospel, how to do it in love and to make people receive a good seed. Because imagine if Juno saw three Christians walk up to him that day and give him such a loving explanation of who Jesus is and how much he loves him, that would really plant a deep seed. That would be watering the seed. The Bible says some plants and some water. So I hope you guys can really see the, the the seed being planted and how love is so important. And let's get active, guys. I really want to see so many evangelists showing love, showing truth, not compromising. But let's get back into this video. It's the word of Jesus without actually trying to force it down someone's throat. I used to be an atheist. I used to unconvince, like successfully unconvince people that God was not real. So if I just convince you, some atheist like me in the past, say I did convince you, can just come unconvince you. So would you be opposed to a prayer that if Jesus Christ is the highest power, he is the God of the Bible, did die for your sins, would you be opposed to me praying that he encounters you in a way where you can never deny him? I would not be opposed. Can I hold your hand? Heavenly Father, thank you for Juno. Thank you for his kind soul. Thank you for the fruit that he already has in his life. Lord, I just pray that you ask Add on to him and you just encounter him in a way where he cannot deny you. He is um, seeking right now. So I just pray that you show him in a way where he cannot deny you and that you just uh, give him a life full of love in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, bro. Don't be afraid to go up to people who maybe look like a intimidating character or, you know, just someone that wouldn't be receptive because you never know. People are wanting truth. People are needing truth. Juno received truth that day. He understood it. He um, didn't Refuse prayer. But one thing I do want to add in my evangelism, and this is something I need to do a lot more effectively, is telling people how they need to seek. Just the prayer alone most likely is not going to give them an encounter. I have heard stories of people that I've prayed for who I also told to seek, who I saw seek, who came to a Bible study with me, who had a crazy encounter with God after seeking. 
So the prayer is just us coming in agreement, making it more effective. And then them seeking is what is really going to uh, give God that invitation. Let God really know, hey, I'm desiring you. I want you. So that's something I definitely need to do better is tell people, all right, I'm going to pray for you. But you also, God wants you to seek him. God wants to see your heart wanting him because my heart wants you to know him. My heart is for you. I'm going to pray for you all day. But you also need to seek because it's not just my faith that will allow God to encounter you. It's going to be your your own seeking. So I definitely want to do that more. And um, I hope this uh, just gives you some insight. And one, one, one more thing, I love asking people, would you be opposed to me praying for you? Because honestly, that is just so hard to say no to. Imagine saying no to that or like imagine saying yes to that actually. Like, yes, I would be opposed. That is just hard to say too. And prayer itself plants a good seed. It, it sets your heart in a place of submission and a place of humility to God. So doing that, I love to just have people pray at least because that is a good seed to where um, they're just giving reverence to God and it's respect. And I feel like God will draw them on through that seed and someone will come water that seed in love. And yeah, it's just a good encounter. So guys, I hope you are praying for Juno still. Um, I know I didn't bring up homosexuality to him and I, that is because he's not a Christian. The Bible says that um, we do not judge those who are without. So no, I don't agree with LGBTQ, but just saying that wouldn't draw him closer to Jesus in that moment because he's not a Christian. If he was Christian, I'd bring that up all day. But since he isn't, I'm not going to throw that in there just for him to you know, maybe get angry. Not that I want to people please, but all I want to do is show him truth in that moment. And then once he knows Jesus, we can talk about his homosexual lifestyle, all this and that, and lead him into a, a sanctified life. But I hope that demonstrates how to plant the seed, how to just go in love, share truth. Let me know if you guys like this style. Let me know if you like reactions and I hope you guys have a good one. God bless.